This video shows how to use Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker to track a video clip to a moving object in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to track a video clip to the tailgate of my truck. First thing you need to do is scrub through the clip, determine the starting and ending points of your clip that you're going to insert. And I'll start it right there. You'll buy Pixel Film Studios Auto Tracker 1.1 and install it in your computer. And then you'll find this under the text library. Now 4K Digital Cinema is for a wider aspect ratio. This video was shot in 4K uh, 16 by 9, so this is the one we want. So drag that into your timeline. Stretch the end out to the point where the video clip will end. Make sure the clip is highlighted, then go over to the right into the inspector, click on the text icon, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on Draw Track Data, move the search size up to about 60 because there's quite a bit of movement at one point, and then also turn on Track Scale. When you click on the Auto Tracker clip on your timeline, you'll see the tracking box come up. Set that tracking box on an object that has a lot of contrast. Adjust the corners. Make sure your playhead is set at the beginning of the auto tracker clip in your timeline and then click track forward. Watch the tracking box as it tracks. Make sure that the tracking box stays around the object that you're tracking. If the tracking box strays away from the target object and does not snap back to it with each frame, your video clip will not track correctly. Click Stop Track, clear the track data, then increase the search size and try tracking it again. The object tracking can take several minutes. I've sped this up to save time. Toward the end of this tracking session you'll see the actual speed of the frame tracking. Okay, we're going to turn this off and then just scrub through. Make sure that the center point of the tracking box stays correctly centered on the object that you're tracking. and everything looks good there. Okay, now this is the clip that I'm going to use on the tailgate of the truck. Um, I'm going to increase the speed of this clip and I'll try around uh, 300 or a little over 300 percent. See how that looks. Okay, I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. That looks okay. Now we need to make a compound clip out of the clip we're going to insert. Highlight it, right click on it, select new compound clip, then change the name if you need to, and create the compound clip. We'll turn these off. We don't need to see them anymore. Now you see it says drop zone, no source. We need to download the clip and select the clip that we're going to use. So we have our clip. Select a point near the beginning of the clip and then click apply clip. Now that our clip has been incorporated into the video, I'm just going to delete this. Under Drop Zone, Overall Scale always defaults to zero, so increase that with the slider and then you should see your clip. Do a quick test run and it looks like it's working. Fine-tune the location of your clip by adjusting the anchor points, and you can also change the scale. Opacity is another thing you can 
experiment with. I'm going to leave it at 100% for this one. I'm going to pull in a cross dissolve transition for a smooth flow into and out of the clip and I'll just place this directly on the auto tracker clip itself. You can see the position tracking worked very well in this example, but the scale tracking is not very consistent. This is probably because there was not enough contrast between the red color of the tail light and the surrounding black color. Tracking seems to work best when you track to a well-defined object with a lot of contrast. 